Hello, today we're going to be taking apart a Foscam pan, tilt, and zoom camera. Uh, this is the model number FI8918W. Now, this is a very popular camera. I think it's around $60 or $70 dollars on Amazon. Uh, it's an IP camera, uh, wireless, or uh, a Cat5. Um, has pan, tail, and zoom, which you can control with either software or just through the web interface. Uh, these are fairly straightforward cameras. Um, this one does have night vision as well, which works very well, or it used to. Uh, this camera was in, in use for about two years continuously, uh, and then it went off and didn't come back on. So you can power it on, but there's no boot up. And it just doesn't work. Uh, so, you know, press the reset button a couple times, and uh, you can see the, I guess, the Ethernet lights back here blinking a little bit, but there's nothing else going on. Never fully boots up. Um, so, we're going to take this one apart today and probably just end up destroying it because it is, it is fairly old. Uh, it's also very low resolution. It says right there, 0.3 megapixel, uh, which is 640 by 480 resolution. So, that's, pretty weak. Um, you can get any webcam today that gets, you know, usually 720p or 1080p. Uh, so we're going to just get cracking on this thing. There's going to be some screws in here somewhere. There's really no visible ones. There are on the globe here. Uh, I, again, this is pan, tilt, and zoom. If you don't know what that is, it means you can control it, go side to side or up and down. And so with it stationary, you can control it remotely and make it go up and down. Uh, it also has a microphone and a speaker, um, which is fairly interesting. Um, of course, the speaker sounds like crap, and the microphone doesn't work very well. Uh, and in fact, in most places, I believe it's illegal to record audio if the person on at least one of the ends doesn't know about it. And it depends on where you are, I guess. Uh, let me find a... Got pliers here. <coughs> yeah, there's there's much newer ones of these these cameras, but uh, that, that put out much better quality. Um, this one was good for the time, and it's just many years old. Uh, I couldn't even think. Probably 2008, maybe 2006, something like that when I got it. Uh, which at this time is just too old. Uh, most likely, uh, whatever the, the ROM chip or the flash chip inside of it has just uh, hit its peak. Couldn't do any more. Okay, there's the... Uh, There's some screws. There's probably one under this little blob of something. Some kind of white paint. No, there's nothing under it. Okay. So, I just see two screws on the bottom here, and then there's two on the back of the globe unit, or the camera unit. Hopefully that'll be it. Nope, there's another screws. Yeah. Couple more, there's another one in there. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid this warranty pretty quick. Yeah, these cameras, um, they're all from China and there's there's a lot of knockoffs when you purchase one of these. You gotta really watch what you're getting. And you don't really know if it's a knockoff or not, but they all come from China, and they're probably the knockoffs are just made in the same factory. The cheaper parts. Never really know. Almost all these electronics like this are almost entirely disposable. 
Okay, so what we expect is there's a microphone, which you can see right here. It pops up through that little hole. And let me snip that so we can get through here. Oops. Okay. And then there's a whole mess of wires going everywhere. Here's the antenna. Now this one only does uh, 802.11G, and it doesn't do N. <coughs> Let's see, it looks like there's a switch right there. Probably just a positional switch so it doesn't over-rotate. Jeez. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised all the screws in this are different. There's like four or five different kinds of screws. Kind of would have expected them all to be the same cheap set of screws. So this motor over here is the one that does the panning, which is the left-right motion. And I guess it spins and it rotates this right here. Let's see, that should just pop loose, but it doesn't. The zoom on this is a digital zoom, so it's useless. Some of the better models do have an optical zoom, uh, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, but this one doesn't. Um, it is not a very expensive model, which is probably why it's broken. But it does have wireless. There's the wireless card. We can get some focus. Too close. That's probably just a standard wireless card. May work in a laptop or something. Who knows? Yeah, junk for me. <coughs> so here's the main motherboard. Mm, can't really see what that says on it, but fairly simple. A lot of empty space. I'm sure the newer models have this shrunk down to just about nothing. Nuvoton little ARM processor. Wind bond, that a memory memory chip, kind of ROM chip. And the reset switch. So you can see 2010, so this is six years old. Um, can't remember. I must have bought a couple of these at a time because I have a couple other ones, but this one is the the one that broke. I have one more up that is on its way out, and it's going to get replaced. Uh, probably replaced with the Raspberry Pi because they're just so much easier to deal with. Okay. So here is the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, motor spins. Turns that gear, and uh, kind of like a tank turret. Uh, it does some pan. So, pretty straightforward motor. Uh, and this will be a, a very low RPM motor. Can't really see it. DC 5 volt. So, that'll be fun to play with. Uh, and this has a pretty fancy bearing here in the middle, which is nice. And uh, this has got to be the switch, positional switch to tell it where it is. Okay, so here we are with the camera unit. It's got a mess of wires hanging out of it. Uh, these are got to be some wires for the light sensor, all of these LEDs, and then the camera sensor itself. I'll just take this thing apart. Now I'll put a link uh, to Amazon too where you could buy one of these. They're probably still in the store if it's only six years old. I wouldn't recommend getting one, uh, just for the fact that they are very old. Uh, the one you 
by now could be made either in the same run or a similar run as to when this one was six years ago. It's been sitting in the warehouse. Uh, you just never know. Uh, most likely there's uh, newer revisions too, so I don't know. Might be a good deal, might not. I wouldn't pay very much for it though. Pretty much for the same price of this, you can get a Raspberry Pi with a camera module. But, depends on what you're doing, I guess. Okay, we're making kind of a mess here. Let's get a little, a little more aggressive. Yep, look at that speaker. That's pretty cool. A little 1 watt 8 ohm speaker. Snip that out of there. And here's that mess of wires again. Man, they did really amazing work with the wire management. Take all those wires from point A to point B. Okay, so here's the other motor. Uh, this one is the up-down motor, the tilt motor. Uh, it's the same exact motor, it looks like. Yeah, same exact motor. So that's pretty smart. Probably cut some costs there by having two of the same exact control units and all that good stuff. Same cables and everything. Uh, let's see, we have another switch, a little rocker switch, uh, which is probably mandatory just because it's you don't want it to spin around in circles and break the cables. And here we have the wiring bundle. Fully comes out, which is very nice. Yeah, another flaw of these things is they're not waterproof at all. As you can see, all the uh, it's just plastic bonded. It's meant for indoor use, uh, but with the night vision, uh, you know, it actually works fairly well. Um, I don't know if that can come off with that on there. Okay, I'm assuming this, this lens will come off at some point. I keep turning it. Maybe, maybe not. It's pretty. Yeah, it's coming out. Here we go. Oop. Okay. And let's look up inside of there. And you can see the sensor. Very small sensor. But, I mean, what do you expect? And let's go ahead and take the rest of this off. Ooh, these screws are tight. Oop, cracked. Well, that was easy enough. Okay. Well, let's get a good shot of that. And there's some nice infrared LEDs and a little uh, light sensor here, which is a little bent. I didn't do that. Someone else did, probably. So, we can probably take all these with us. Let's see. Yeah, they pull off pretty easy. So that'll be something they'll keep, is all these little LEDs. They all still work. And it's nice to have a little set of infrared LEDs. Kind of hard to get to, but... Okay, that's the teardown of the uh, Foscam FW blah blah blah. Let's get that back up here to make sure we know what we're talking about. Uh, FI8918W. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to do with this thing, but just chunk it in the trash like everything else. So, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave a comment below. 
Um, like, subscribe, and all that great stuff. Or not. Just whatever. Have a good day.